Okay, you guys, for this assignment, we're gonna use our goniometer. You see I have a selection of goniometers over here on the side. You can use whatever goniometer that you have on hand. The smaller ones are best for measuring those smaller joints of the hand and fingers. The bigger one is definitely better for measuring bigger joints like the shoulder, the hip, and the knee. And then we have the hyperextension goniometer over here that will measure um, hyperextension at a joint. So it's shaped a little bit differently. You will learn more about that in subsequent semesters. For this assignment, we're gonna take a blank piece of paper. We're just learning how to use our goniometer. So you're gonna make a circle in the middle. That's gonna be your access point. And then you're just gonna draw some straight lines through the access point. It does not have to be perfect clearly. And then you're either gonna highlight or darken one of those lines and that's going to be your stationary line then you're going to take your goniometer whichever one you want and i have my access point my stationary arm and then my movable arm here on top so i'm going to align the access point with that dot in the middle and the stationary arm down that highlighted um, line that i made and then i'm going to move this movable arm See how it rotates along the degrees? And I'm gonna line it up with each line. And so from my starting point to my ending point, it's about 40 degrees. So then I'm just gonna take my marker and I'm gonna put 40 degrees right here. And then I'm gonna move the arm even more and see what I get up here. Just shy of 90. I can call it 88, maybe. And you're just going to keep doing that and fill in for the rest of each circle. This one's about 145 degrees. And then keep going all the way around. This is just to get you familiar with how to measure with the goniometer, how to move the goniometer, how to hold this steady, and where to put your access point in here. Once you've done this, then you can answer the questions in the discussion board for the assignment.